is Caitlin Paget, and I am the founder of Redefining Sobriety and I'm so excited to record another holiday themed video for you specifically on travel. So as we know travel can be a terrible time um, in the holidays and there's often delays uh, as I'm recording this there's been a huge huge storms throughout the United States and parts of Canada which I know have led to massive delays. And I actually just came back from an, an unplanned and kind of last minute trip, which also involved some delays as well. So it's very timely to be recording this video as we head into the holiday season. And I know many of you might have travel coming up. Some of you might have already had travel and some of that travel might have already involved delays. So I know, you know, in my history, uh, especially when I was using alcohol a lot, travel also included alcohol. It included alcohol sometimes often, <laughs> if I'm being realistic, sometimes and often the night before. Um, and so being hungover or staying up late and just being uh, not very present. I've also actually gone to the airport straight from partying before or packed last minute while I was still intoxicated. Um, Airports, of course, what do you do at the airport? You drink. What do you do on international flights or flights where you have free alcohol? You drink um, and so on and so forth. So that was very much a part of my reality and certainly on holidays or vacations, it was, it was extra. You know, when I was traveling for work, uh, sometimes depending on if I had a meeting right after I landed, I might not drink as much. But, um, but certainly if it was a vacation, you know, I, I would really uh, get my drink on, so to speak. So it's really important if you're trying to redefine your relationship to alcohol, trying to drink less or not at all, to really, really prepare for your travel and approach it completely differently. So, you know, prep is really, really important. And what that means is not leaving things to the last minute. I was guilty of that. I did it all the time. Um, it also means preparing with things that you might not normally have brought with you. So a lot of my clients often ask me, you know, what, what about when I go on the road? How do I stick to my routines? How do I take care of myself? So what does this mean? You might actually put together a different kind of travel kit. It will have relaxing teas, maybe also some stimulating teas. If you're trying not to drink as much caffeine, it will have maybe essential oils or a candle, an aromatherapy candle. It might have one of those room sprays. I'm a big fan of, of those, of aromatherapy room sp uh, spray sprays or being able to um, you know clear the space or put like a sleepy time spray on your pillows make the the room that you're staying in whether it's a hotel room or a family you know in a family's house or wherever you're going make it feel a little bit more nurturing um, you might also want to bring your supplements or green powder things like that to just really really take very good care of yourself especially during the holidays because you know that you might be eating things that aren't always in, you know in line with what you're used to eating so you want to make sure that you have your supplements your powders whatever it is all ready to go and um, but as well that extra kind of nourishing self-care kit can be really 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 helpful you want to make sure that you get enough sleep. So don't be frazzled. Don't head to the airport in a frantic rush. Do your preparation, pack in advance, check and double check that you have, go everything you need, go to the airport early. And you know, I'm suggesting maybe you do these things, which is great. I did not. So, you know, a lot of this is advice that I needed to hear myself. And, and it's really, really helped tremendously to prepare a lot stay hydrated so hydrate before don't drink the night before you're traveling or don't drink as much again this is a great opportunity to practice moderation um, don't drink at the airport don't drink on the airplane now this is a biggie and i i know you probably don't like you might not want to hear me say those words and for a lot of my clients even after changing their relationship to alcohol at home, travel was a really diff difficult one because it was so ritualized. You go to the airport, you go to the airport bar, or you go to the lounge, you get a drink. You get on the airplane, you have a drink. Uh, try to not do that. You will feel so much better. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I'm a big fan of fresh green juices. I will get a fresh green juice anywhere I can. The fresher, the better but also if all you can find is a cold press pre-bottled one, great, drink that as well. Drink a lot of sparkling water, still water, just drink as much water as possible. 
and you will feel so much better for it. Your skin will be better, you will feel less bloated, less dehydrated, and just clearer. And, and when you can reframe it as something that you're really doing to nurture yourself, it's a, it's a very powerful shift. And it's really interesting because I was on a series of flights yesterday, some of which were delayed, and, uh, and I was on a domestic flight that offered free alcohol, which is rare. I was traveling through Mexico. And it was really interesting because I had just ordered a sparkling water and I had also ordered a glass of apple juice and I was kind of like mixing my, my, my own drink, um, mostly sparkling water, a little bit of apple juice. And, um, and I heard a guy behind me saying, oh, you know, the beer's free. Well, I'll definitely take one of those kind of thing. And I, it reminded me so much of when I had that mentality of like, oh, it's free. Of course I'll have a drink. And that was actually a really hard pattern and habit for me to break. And so if you're still in that habit or that pattern, I totally understand that that could be a big hurdle for you to, to jump over. But trust me, once you're on the other side and once you're really nurturing yourself and you're not giving in to, to drinking alcohol just because it's there or because you have the time or because it's free, you will start to feel really differently about yourself and your choices and knowing that you're really nourish, nourishing yourself is super, super important. And, um, and so taking care of yourself, hydrating, also different food choices can really help, trying to load up on fresh fruit and vegetables, soups, again, to stay hydrated, lots of fresh food, especially if you're traveling long distances, will really help with your digestive system, will help you stay regulated, will help with jet lag, and you know, just, just really view this as a time to, to nourish yourself. And finally, it's a state of mind. So whereas travel can feel very stressful, especially in the holiday seasons, really try to approach it just with a slightly different lens of what, you know, what surprises, positive surprises might come my way. How can I make this as nourishing and relaxing as possible? How can I take this as me time? You know, what can I do? Uh, to, to nourish myself and another example is again I had this impromptu trip and there was part of me that felt like I should be working when I had the opportunity to be working and I did do some work but I also let myself watch a movie that I probably wouldn't never have picked <laughs> otherwise but it was in the menu of movies and um, and I watched it and I enjoyed it and I allowed myself just to, to switch off or just to doze and look out the window or relax and that's what helped also make the trip more nourishing for me which is specifically kind of what I needed it to be uh, given the fact that it was in the middle of a really busy week and season and, and kind of unplanned. So let me know what your favorite travel tips are. Let me know what you like to do if you need more information and I have also created a PDF all about how to thrive through the holidays all of my favorite tips and strategies and tools that you can use to really feel great during this holiday season and not go back to the patterns that you might have fallen into in previous holiday seasons so the link for that is beneath this video in the comments and make sure to subscribe if you're enjoying these videos because that way you will get notified every time I post a new video which is pretty much every week sometimes a little bit more I have a lot of great content lined up through the rest of uh, this season and heading into the new year so I look forward to hearing from you let me know what you'd like to hear and also please do download the PDF and just receive the support all of the support that you can through this holiday season happy holidays